An American spacecraft on the moon, the first since the Apollo era, is said to be alive and well. Though it's not perfect, landing on its side, still officials are optimistic about its abilities. CTV's Kamal Kramali now with what this means for the future of space exploration. This is the first image from the U.S. spacecraft Odysseus, fired back down to Earth. The picture also... It was a quite a spicy seven-day mission. Sending a surge of relief, proof the unmanned vessel is okay after a shaky landing. And caught a foot in the surface, and the, and the lander has tipped like this. And we believe this is the, surf, the, the orientation of the lander on the moon. Still coming close to its targeted site near the moon's south pole, it's now communicating with plenty of power. The technology uh, performed flawlessly. Um, better than expected performance. It's an autonomous Nova Sea class lunar lander named Odysseus. It's the first time a lunar lander has been created by a private company. Intuitive machines allowing the United States to return to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. One of the nice things about a commercial lander is that it kind of opens things up. They may have a little more flexibility for other payloads that they want to consider and so it lets people be more creative. But right before touchdown, the lander's navigation system failed. The team resorted to a backup plan, NASA's laser landing system. What followed was several tense minutes. And we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. Then a muted reaction. When the lunar lander only sent back a weaker than expected signal. There was a tense moment where we did not have regular communications, but our dedicated uh, radio and ground operations crew found the signal. And with NASA planning to send astronauts to the moon in 2026, what this little vessel finds could be a new dawn for U.S. space exploration. Kamal Karamali, CTV News, Toronto.